Liebeskind calls this area the Garden of Exile. It is a hanging garden, perhaps in allusion to the exile in Babylon. But these trees, planted in 49 concrete pillars, are also simply an image for uprooting. Exile seen as the loss of a reference point. The garden is a labyrinth of leaning pillars that destabilizes and nearly unbalances the visitor. In fact, this is a perfect square, the only place in the museum with strict right angles. But the architect has tipped it to create a double 10 degree slope so that when walking through the pillars, the pitch changes at every turn. Like the Tower of the Holocaust, the garden is a dead end. Contrary to its appearance, it is completely cut off from the outside by a dry moat worthy of a fortress. The escape into free air is an illusion. Exile is also imprisonment. There is no other way out than to return to the underground axes. the old and the new buildings, the Tower of the Holocaust and the Garden of Exile are linked by a hidden network of communications and directions. But on the surface, the architect has deliberately treated them as independent elements. The visible